We have 4,000 acres here. The Kerr Center tests and teaches sustainable farming and ranching techniques. Jim Horn is its CEO. In 1985, uh, the Kerr Center went through kind of an evolution, and we decided to start looking at some environmental uh, approaches to agriculture. We felt like our first goal was to bring this word sustainability uh, to, to Oklahoma. Uh, it was not very well known, the word was not understood. Sustainable methods help farmers and ranchers, even backyard gardeners, grow food and raise livestock in ways that conserve water and create healthy fertile soil, while not harming the environment with organic waste or chemical pollution. David Radage is Kerr's agricultural economist and natural resources manager. His focus is figuring out which plants and animals are best adapted to thrive in Oklahoma's varied soils and climates. We have a livestock component, we have a natural resource component, and we have the organically certified horticulture farm. On the horticulture farm, we have trialed varieties of heirloom plants over the years. Heirloom varieties are varieties usually from 1950 prior. They're not hybridized. And the idea is that we're trying to identify plants that are adapted to Oklahoma's conditions. This summer, the center is testing 12 varieties of sweet potatoes and four types of tomatoes. Tests explore everything from disease and insect resistance to flavor, yield, and ease of pollination. Part of the testing on these tomatoes is to see how well they tolerate heat, and it's been a really hot summer. So there's shade screen hoops up over some of the crops to see if that allows them to produce better because they're not quite as in direct sun. Other areas, they are out in the open. And then there's a test that has them in a cold frame. Part of it open to the sun, part of it shaded. A problem we have in heat like this, uh, tomatoes have trouble setting fruit because it can sterilize the pollen on the plant when it gets this warm. Sweet potatoes, on the other hand, are very well adapted to this heat. Over in the pasture, the center is experimenting with how meat goats can be integrated into beef cattle operations and pasture land management. Different producers who are trying to avoid or reduce their reliance on herbicides to control weeds and brushing pastures, that's a niche for a goat. So a goat can fulfill that or help manage that part of an operation. We can run them in conjunction with uh, beef cattle in what's called multi-species grazing, where, and we're going, getting ready to do that on this ranch. To encourage farmers and ranchers to try sustainable practices, the Kerr Center offers an incentive. It's called the uh, Oklahoma uh, uh, Producer Grant Program, where we make uh, small grants to farmers uh, all over the state to demonstrate uh, what what sustainability means to them. One of the criteria is that they have to have a field day on their farm uh, and, and invite the neighbors in. And we've had as many as 250 uh, demonstrating uh, making biodiesel over by Lawton to uh, raising shrimp in farm ponds. And uh, people really enjoy coming to a farm and uh, in this case, a producer's farm that we work with, and seeing something they can take away. Perhaps the most important thing they take away is the realization that conservation methods and sustainable practices developed and taught by the Kerr Center mean a farm's soil doesn't have to be depleted by its crops. Instead, it can be enriched for generations of bountiful harvests.